Last week I made a video talking about environment and its effects on motivation and creative output, which is something I've struggled with for a while and for a long time did nothing to combat. I've recently started taking small steps to overcome this dilemma, my first step being a rather large one when I decided to spend an entire month in Chicago with the sole intention to create and reflect, and my next steps being to start consistently uploading to YouTube. But after returning home, I found myself barely crawling, let alone moving forward one step at a time. to fall into the habit of consuming more than creating and while consuming has its place it shouldn't be center stage with that in mind along with what i reflected on in my last video i knew i just needed to take another small step the environment you're in isn't calling you to create guess you'll have to put yourself in an environment that will and so my next small step is just that welcome to philly Right, today I'm shooting on the Sony a7 III with the 35 to 16 to 35 G Master lens. I only shot in Philadelphia once before, and that was about two years ago. When I came out with a couple friends, me and uh, another friend of mine had photos in a, a gallery out here. So I'm interested to see what these photos look like in comparison to my work two years ago. I started off the day warming up on the way to a coffee shop several blocks away, checking what I got as I took the photos just to make sure my settings were set up correctly and trust me, sometimes chimping is a good thing which I learned the hard way later this same day. There's many points for this video, from keeping myself in check by having something to upload to YouTube, keeping myself accountable by getting out to shoot some photos, and the main point, how environment affects us and our work. Earlier this week, I went for a photo walk around my hometown, and man, was it uninspiring. So little was going on around me, I resorted to shooting photos of the most random things, things I wouldn't give the time of day to otherwise. I had to force myself to stay out and shoot, regardless of my frustration with the environment. And there's nothing more defeating than calling through a day's worth of photos and coming up short. It's crazy to think that driving two hours away puts me into a whole different headspace. And it really has nothing to do with the location and much more to do with what resides within it. Philly, for instance, is filled with beautiful architecture, different cultures and activity. I just wouldn't get my hometown. It's there, just spread out, less in your face and not at all on the same scale. I can walk around the streets at home and be lucky to run into one person on any given block, let alone multiple people. Whereas if I make the effort to come to a larger city, not only am I inspired by the place itself, the energy is a night and day difference. I'm always excited to shoot in larger cities because of the amount of activity happening around me. It's almost as if I were a painter that had access to more paint. In a small town, I have less to paint with, but in a city like this, I have all the paint I could ever need to create more images. I don't mean to say this is a cop-out, by the way. If you're good at what you do and resourceful as an artist, you'll make do with what you have if you have no other choice. Remember when I said chimping can be a good thing and that I found that out the hard way? Weekend 
of St. Patrick's Day. And as somebody who has recently started to hybrid shoot, but only has one camera body, I'm constantly forced to switch back and forth between photo and video mode. So when I came across this particular scene, I was pretty excited and quickly switched from video to photo mode without checking my settings. And because of that, I forgot to switch my ISO back to auto and therefore my shutter speed dropped way too low. And because of that, I pretty much botched this entire opportunity. Granted, there was this photo that I got of this guy rolling up next to this girl. And although the effect could be a little less intense, I actually like this photo quite a lot. Again, I wish the shake effect from the low shutter speed I had was a little less prominent, but overall I think it actually kind of represents the energy I felt walking through that sea of green. Not too long after that, I actually ran into a couple guys that were also out shooting that day and quickly became friends over our shared interest. which I think came out, I think they came out pretty, pretty good because I don't normally shoot that style of photography. opportunities are exactly what I'm looking for. And that's what draws me to these larger cities. The more activity, structures, nooks, crannies, and people there are, the more opportunity awaits. Why wouldn't you put yourself in a place that provides more chances to build your body of work more efficiently, that stimulates you and allows you to grow as an artist? Going back to the concept of taking small steps, my reasoning for pushing myself to do so resides in my rather annoying habit of getting in my own way. No matter the means, I seem to do it quite a lot and hadn't truly recognized it until the past year or so. But recognizing something is only the first step. It isn't until you decide to intentionally confront that thing and take action that things will change. Creating these videos and talking about some of these things is my attempt at fleshing them out. To intentionally confront my demons and take intentional action in eradicating them from my life. I'm still very much in the process of all this, and I'm well aware that some days will be more challenging than others. But then there's days like this, when I win, when I do the things I set out to do and come away feeling proud of myself, meeting new people, experiencing life, and just taking that step in the right direction. It's easy, and simultaneously just as hard to sit around and complain about your current situation and wallow in the fact you're not where you want to be. And in the same sense, taking the appropriate actions is also easy, yet just as hard in the long run, and you have the choice to choose your hard. Staying stagnant is easy, but so is taking your next step. <laughs> 